you're looking for a Range Rover Sport, my name is Philip Tarrant and here we have a late 2007 Range Rover Sport. It's got the 2.7 litre turbo diesel engine and it's Buckingham blue with cream leather interior. And it really is gorgeous. It's got the very nice timber trim which is very rare in these which I think is a bit of a shame. I think if you're buying a Range Rover it's got to have timber inserts. It's done just over 150,000 kilometres but this car is in incredible condition. It's got the 4.2 litre supercharged Range Rover Sport wheels which suit the car perfectly and look fantastic. I can't even see any gutter rash whatsoever. If you've been looking at any other Range Rover Sports I think you'll find that there's generally quite a bit of damage to the wheels because they're, they're so large. It's got a two-way tailgate. Although it's got cream interior, it's got black carpet, which is a very good idea. It's also got the rear parcel tray in the back. It's got two keys to it. If you're looking at these, I'd probably ask if there's an extra set of keys. Because being a family car, I think you'll find, unfortunately, in a lot of cases, there isn't. It's one of those cars I can't stop looking at. Even if I was buying a brand new Range Rover and they said, you can choose the colour combination you want, I would say thank you. I would like a car in Buckingham Blue with cream leather interior and as much timber inserts or wood grain as possible. I have driven this car, it drives absolutely beautifully. It's got electric seats memory driver's seat it's got low range it's a proper four-wheel drive so you've got high range low range you can tow with it you can drop the kids to school in it they've got a lot of utility these Range Rovers and we're starting to see these sports in a diesel with over 300,000 kilometers and like I say to people sometimes how many old Range Rovers you see driving around I see a lot of P38s, I see Range Rovers from the 70s, 80s, early 90s. But by the Range Rover Sport, which came out in about 2005, they really got their act together with their engines, their gearboxes, and all the mechanicals. It's got automatic headlights, it's got terrain response, so you can actually adjusted so you've got gravel roads, mud ruts, etc. Hill descent control. There's your high range and low range settings. When you put the suspension up, it doesn't go up a few centimetres. It looks like it goes up by nearly a foot. So if you're going through deep water or if you're going in some very steep angles, it'll do all of it with ease. I took some photos of the suspension on high and low. The car goes up from the lowest setting to the highest setting in literally a matter of seconds. So I must have had the air compressor replaced, I would say recently. Because normally when they get to this age, they do take quite a bit of time to go up. Um, it's got a very good service history to it. As I said, it does have spare keys. And really, if you've been looking for a Range Rover Sport, I think you should definitely come and have a look at this car. Whenever I've been looking at a car like this, I say I want a blue one with cream interior. And all the blue ones with cream interior that are available either don't have a logbook, they've got 300,000 Ks or there's some sort of problem. And I'm only able to, and the best ones are a silver one or a, or a black one, which I personally don't like. The good thing about this car is it's a great color combination. It's got a good history, reasonable kilometers, great wheels and timber inserts. It does have a, sun, a two-way sunroof as well. And uh, like I say, sometimes I just, I can't stop looking at it. 
look at the bonnet. It's absolutely stunning. Because it's a family car, and it's generally driven to, to school and back of the shops, you get little dings and scrapes and scratches around the car. I, I honestly can't see any at all whatsoever. It's remarkable. Well, thanks so much for watching our video today on this beautiful Range Rover Sport. My name is Philip Tarrant. We specialise in European cars and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.